Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Bastion service, which is a very cool service which will manage or which will help you to manage your virtual machines to connect securely directly from your Azure portal. As a first step, let's understand what exactly this Azure Bastion service. So this service is completely newly introduced by Microsoft with a fully platform managed that's a pass model uh, which you can use inside your virtual network let's say this is your virtual network and inside this you can you would be actually creating another subnet a dedicated subnet for Azure Bastion subnet since it's a pass service you would be using her to connect uh, directly from the Azure portal to Azure Bastion service over the uh, 443 protocol um, and then from here you can connect to your virtual machines it could be a Linux or it could be a, a your Windows machine so you can directly connect uh, within the single uh, portal so you don't need to again download the RDP or as such uh, file to connect it so it makes easy seamless integration directly to the Azure portal since it's a platform as a service model and this only requires the HTML5 version of any of the browser that's only requirement and uh, this can be eliminated if you see here you don't need to have a public IP if you want to uh, communicate directly and uh, it will completely makes your life easy when you when it, when it comes to managing RDB protocol to be enabled and disabled when you don't need so you don't need to you know work on those NSG specific uh, RDB or SSH specific rules uh, since uh, completely as your bastion does not require you to you know uh, connect uh, from the external side so you don't need to configure within your NSGs uh, external ports like RG, uh, RDB or SSH specific thing and it will protect against your port scans because these are never exposed since these virtual machines will have the private IP address within your VNet and it will protect against zero-day exploits and also it makes hardening in one place since it makes into one place it's so easy for up to date or to make any kind of changes so let's jump into the azure portal and try to create how this can be created i have a virtual machine which is in uh, a north europe location uh, and uh, it also have already configured to respond over the public internet so i'm going to disable that all a uh, later point if you see here the public ip is already configured so that I can connect from here directly downloading the RDP file but that's not what we wanted we wanted to work with the bastion so for that what we do is we would actually create a specific subnet within the uh, within this VNet so I'll just click on the VNet which is not EU VNet app service because this is for the app service before you begin to create a bastion service you need to know that only it is available in a specific regions and uh, this might change any point of time as Microsoft keep on uh, doing the infrastructure changes on their data centers so they would come up with the new features or new services that can be offered everywhere so at this point of time we are in North uh, Europe uh, try to create the bastion service so this is already available this service so we should be good to create in this location so within this location North Europe on my VNet I'll just go back to my subnet and uh, here I need to create a specific subnet with a perfect match of a specific uh, name that should be Azure Bastion subnet so I'll just click on here uh, with the creating new subnet and the subnet must be the same name you cannot have your own name here it must to be matched with Azure Bastion service so this is very critical because if you are trying to onboard platform as a service model for your Bastion because that uh, comes into the platform as a service model so it must have to follow certain standards so that their internal Microsoft scripts will work so I'll just give here and I'm gonna set it here either uh, 27 or whatever the uh, series because uh, it, it needs to be minimum as a 27 uh, as the uh, CIDR block should be there and uh, you can configure 
the way you want to like other things and most important point is you are not gonna um, uh, configure for this as your bastion service the user defined routes that's not supported and also network security groups also not supported so we'll simply click on ok so that would create a subnet so what we have done is either you create a new vnet that vnet should have this uh, specific to the as your bastion subnet or if you have already a virtual machine that has a vnet already connected you can introduce this bastion service as we talked in the powerpoint slides all you have to do is you have to come here and create a new subnet called as a bastion subnet and that must be a minimum as a 27 uh, subnet id and then you just go back to uh, services uh, from here you can even search from the create a new service here you can just search for the Azure Bastion that would uh, provision here you see here you have the service just click on that and click on create uh, and choose the resource group that you have already created so in my case alpha demo this is where my entire resources are available and also instance name that I can give you here like I can say that maybe as a bastion for my web apps this is app service so app service vnet specific and remember that the uh, region must be the same let's say you are trying to create uh, as a bastion service in ECS but your vnet is in North Europe it doesn't work so it should be the same region so in my case I'm gonna select North Europe that's where my all vnet including my the new subnet which we created as your bastion subnet also provisioned in that uh, region and I can select now the required uh, vnet so the vnet we wanted to configure is North EU uh, vnet app services and automatically it will detect that specific naming that we have given for the subnet in this case as your bastion subnet and the name must be the same that's what we discussed and it should be at least the 27 or larger the subnet and this subnet is this is where it's gonna provision this bastion service so the bastion service will be provisioned within this subnet and from there uh, that's uh, if I just go back to the next slide uh, here so this is where it's going to provision that specific subnet and uh, uh, we created this specific subnet and this is where we are introducing a new platform as a service model for Azure, Azure Bastion and this will enable the communication for other VMs or other subnets that are part of this virtual network so this is boundary is at the virtual network layer and you can have multiple subnets so multiple subnets can be configured to talk with as your bastion service so let's go and uh, you can go back to the tags although this is recommended to give the uh, tags uh, I'm just skipping for the time uh, being here and I'll create the service so this might take another four to five minutes and we will have the bastion service will be provisioned here so I'll just pause the video and I'll come back to you now the service is provisioned I can simply go to the resources and have a look on the service if you see here the configuration is uh, quite uh, similar uh, what we have configured and it it doesn't show you anything here like under the overview it's just showing the public DNS information and the vnet which we configured for this bastion service and uh, apart from that uh, provision state is success and there's nothing is uh, configured here so all we can do is now we should be able to go to the virtual machine which is in this North Arab region and within this subnet so whatever the machines are within this subnet can connect by using as your bastion app uh, bastion service uh, specific and the name what we have given for the bastion is as your uh, bastion app servers for the vnet so i'll just go to home and click on my web app which is not uh, not europe uh, for the vm01 so instead of connect this time what we do is we will click on bastion and uh, make sure that you are going to prompt it uh, here with a pop-up also so we might have to clear out that pop-up 
and I'll just enter my username and password so what would happen is the entire RDB protocol instead of it will go and uh, come back here it would actually connect with the HTTPS port and uh, you see here you got already a pop-up blocker preventing so for the first time if you can you know hello as always that would make us uh, easy for later points so click on that this time uh, it uses the uh, a public DNS which was uh, configured here for the bastion and with that it will redirect automatically and I'm able to connect to the virtual machine you see here and uh, here the clipboard also you can configure here uh, so the virtual machine is connected here let's say I want to go to the machine and type hostname and IP config so it works and uh, in fact I didn't uh, add remove the public IP for the machine so we can take it out now that public IP for this machine let's say I do not want public IP now because definitely this machine is now fully provisioned with the as a bastion service so no need of uh, having a public IP however uh, you need to you can configure even the RDP specific uh, protocols to protect that machine uh, from the Azure Bastion also so you can allow by configuring your NSGs and also on that machine uh, you can also configure the RDP to be allowed otherwise it doesn't work I have stopped the virtual machine and then removed the public IP that's a network interface card specific the and then also started the virtual machine now if I just go ahead and refresh here I don't see here a public IP address for this machine that means this will have only the private IP address where we can connect it so definitely with the RDP protocol you cannot connect because this will be redirecting with the public IP and you don't have the private IP whereas with the bastion you can actually connect uh, with the valid username and the password so let's click on connect by giving the user ID and the password this time it's going to connect also so as your bastion service is really very cool and very useful in order to secure your entire virtual machines and resources especially either it could be a Linux or it could be a Windows it doesn't matter uh, all we want is we want that machine should be the port should be open between um, between here to here that's it within this VNet if the port is opened uh, it can connect because we are provisioned this bastion service in a different subnet and uh, from here to here all the communication would be happening over the outside ex external port would be the 443 but from here to here it would be again the RDP protocol only will be used what uh, if, if you disable here the RDP uh, protocol on your local machine it doesn't connect because the port is needed and also uh, for your information just wanted to show you something here like see this is a test example so this text can be copied to my physical machine also you can expect the commands will copy paste it and also for my test machine that's my physical machine to the inside also it can be copy pasted so both the directions copy paste will work so that's a cool and you're not losing any anything uh, from RDP uh, feature wise let's have a look on the uh, pricing also how it's gonna uh, cost for the uh, pricing for the Azure Bastion service the pricing is uh, fully depends on the region wise uh, let's say from the June 1 to June 2 how the transfer would happen and based on that and also the pricing per hour point or 19 cents also will be charged on top of it the bandwidth based uh, transfer which is a 5 GB is free for every month and post to that it's gonna charge for us let's say if I want to validate for the not Europe so I'll just simply go for the not Europe and uh, it's gonna show you the same pricing because it's almost everywhere same pricing especially for the Bastion service but uh, let's see here uh, you see here the June 1 to June to 5 GB first 5 GB is free and post to the 5 to 10 TB it's gonna cost as a 0 0.08 
seven cents per shibi it's going to charge from the data which is transferring between the different zones before we conclude this uh, video on azure bastion services i uh, just wanted to enforce that the bastion service will enable you to communicate securely over the azure portal so the user will open the azure portal and he would uh, open up a, a connection between uh, as your bastion service that you provisioned and from there it's gonna communicate with your virtual machines that's how it's gonna work and uh, this is uh, so secure and uh, the only disadvantage or advantage side would be both the sides I can you know you can say advantage or disadvantage both the sides but uh, the user has to go from the Azure portal so you can you cannot you know just open up RDB protocol from anywhere so in other way that's going to be secure your network and secure your resources so that's how it's going to work. I hope this entire lecture is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. Please take a minute to rate the course.